Hey, hey, hey. So one of the things that I really love about Christmas is some of the food and drink traditions that go along with Christmas. And one of my absolute favorites is eggnog. So in our household, growing up, it wasn't a big tradition because eggs were scarce, usually scarce at Christmas time, and you didn't have enough eggs to make the Christmas cake and plus to make eggnog. So it was at other times of the year that we used to have eggnogs and it brings back so many lovely memories right now. So today I want to share with you for Vlogmas, eggnog. So come, let's show you how to make a traditional easy eggnog recipe that you can replicate yourself. are the ingredients that we used and if you'd like to make this yourself then you can check the description box below for the full recipe of all the ingredients and the method to make your very own eggnog. Now to make the traditional eggnog, you need to infuse milk with lovely flavors. So, I'm going to put in this saucepan the milk. I have the, the mace, sorry, from the nutmeg. I have nutmeg itself grated nutmeg, freshly grated nutmeg and I also have some cinnamon leaves so that is going on the flame to infuse the flavors into the milk the next thing to do is to whisk the egg yolks with the sugar so I'm going to continue until that is all combined and creamy it will get lighter in color. It will take a little while to do, but it's worth it in the end. The whisking is coming along nicely and I've just added some vanilla. I'll continue to whisk until the milk is just about ready to boil. Then I'll turn the flame off and slowly add the heated milk to the yolk and sugar mixture. Now it's important that you add the milk a little at a time because you don't want to cook the eggs. You just want to thicken the mixture which will eventually go back on the cooker as well to thicken some more. The hot milk is ready. And I'm just going to ladle it in and whisk at the same time. Not a lot at a time, just little by little until, until the whole thing is in. Smells so good. All the milk, the infused milk is in here now. I'm going to transfer it back to the same saucepan. I've removed the cloves, the mace. I've removed the mace and I've removed the cinnamon leaves. So now this is going to be transferred to the saucepan and be on low heat stirring as well.
and of course you can increase the amount increase the volume of this by adding more eggs more sugar i'm going to leave in the description the exact measurement of what i use to make this small batch of eggnog to share with you and then you can increase maybe double the portion the quantity you could double or triple if you want to make much more for your family at Christmas so on low flame and being constantly stirred it has thickened not as thick as traditional custard but it has thickened and so I'm going to just leave it now to cool down before I put it in a container and put it in the fridge to cool even further and then we shall have it so the eggnog has been chilling in the fridge overnight and now I'm ready to serve it up Cheers! So it's the next day now and I'm just about ready to have my eggnog homemade easy easy peasy one two three eggnog mm. there's no ice in here because that's the way I prefer it except of course if you half freeze it and then you have that slushy that's what I love so this I think I'm going to freeze for later then take out just before I'm ready to have it maybe half an hour before and then have that slushy goodness here you go homemade eggnog 